Okay, yay. Um, so I'm back. More Austin comedy um, bullshit that happened from last night's Cherrywood open mic, if you want to call it that. Um, I guess this is a, I'll just do a video message because I found out last night that talking to this person in person um, did not, is not going to go very well. Um, but I feel like I gotta have a little bit more like attitude than just writing a fucking blog that this person probably won't read. Um, but what's what's going on, Conrad? Um, and I forgot, is it Fagan or is it Fagan? Because I forgot like if the joke was that every like they thought your name was pronounced in a derogatory way or if it actually is. I, I don't remember like if it's an actual sad thing or if it's really Fagan. I don't really care that much. Um, but like you've been here for three weeks and you're already talking like not only talking shit to me but like you were an asshole last night and I've done nothing to you and I don't know who you're close to but I know you're really close to Glenn and I'm pretty sure I've always I've always been pretty cool with Glenn I try to go out of my way to make sure like people know I don't have a problem with him and I think he's cool and I thank him and Sahana for treating me pretty like equally at their open mic um which is which is where I met you about two months ago and you were super friendly and you were super excited about visiting Austin and visiting Glenn and we talked about how you live in Kansas and I said I was so sorry and you uh, thought it was funny and talked about how you were going to be moving here soon and, and you were doing the comedy thing and I was like that's exciting and I was supportive and then last night I I've seen you around and I kind of got like it kind of seemed like you were hate vibing me but like I don't like to assume so I gently approached you last night at Cherrywood and just asked hey how's the move I, I remember um, how long have you been here? And you started the conversation off really friendly and then you just like, like attacked. And I'm not really sure why. And I mean, I said this at the time, but Ashley Overton was the only there. The poor Ashley Overton. I think there were like two or three different occasions last night where she just happened to have to witness like guys being complete assholes. And I don't think like she completely supported it, but she couldn't, she was like stuck between a rock and a hard place. And anyway, um, she was the only one there to witness it, but like, you try to tell me that I'm not funny and that I found a loophole around you. I mean, you started it off, it was humorous. You talked about um, looking into how much it would cost to get AustinComedy.gov and I said something about how it's actually cheaper to get .gov or something like that. And then you just like went in for how I found a loophole on how to not be funny. And I mentioned how I, I doesn't really matter if you think I'm funny or not because more people know who I am than they know who you are. And you didn't like that and you said something pretty biting back. Um, again, attack saying that I'm not funny and that I don't do it the right way even though I do the same thing you do. More people pay attention to me and more people laugh. Uh, but no, 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 you're right. You're right, Conrad. Uh, you're funnier. You're doing it the right way. Um, I'm sure if you ask comics in other states if they know who you are, they will. They would definitely say yes. <laughs> um, yeah, like I don't know. I don't know what got you so bitter. Um, just be. I'll be on record again, as I say with most comics that seem to have issues with me. Uh, I. I'm ready to be your friend again. Maybe you were just a little drunk or maybe you're just having a bad day. I personally haven't had my um, prescribed Adderall for a couple weeks, so I've been a little off. So, you know, maybe you're just a little grump pants. Um, but, but where did that come from? And let's, if you ever want to, let's talk and let's compare like how hilarious we are. Um, I mean, hey, let's even do like a bat, let's do a spike club. Let's do a, um, or even just like a comedy battle. Um, we can do it just among our peers, so we can do it at any open mic, or we can make it an actual fun showcase. I'll book the venue if, if you need me to. Um, but if you're going to talk that much shit, like, let's have some fun with it. Or at least do it in front of other people. And, man, at least be here for a solid month before you think you can talk to anybody in this community the way you talked to me last night. Um, I don't know 
who gave you a crown of anything. I don't know who told you you were funny either. <laughs> um, but let's have fun with it. Let's see how big your balls are. Let's let's see just like how much shit you have to talk to someone that you don't really know and who was only kind to you twice. Um, I don't know. And then Taylor Dowdy, what's going on, man? What what's going on? And Hunter, I don't know. I'm just I'm disappointed in all of you boys. I don't know what was going. There was like haterade in the water at Cherrywood last night. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure she's a comic. I feel a little bad that I'm not like totally for sure who it is. I kind of want to say it's Shiflet, but maybe not. I don't know. It's a, I'm pretty sure she's a comic, uh, but she like flicked off James last night and like pretty much she even told management at Cherrywood that she was going to fight James just because he had on a Trump hat. Um, and I don't know, last night was just, it was brutal. It was fun, um, but those boys are kicking up, they're kicking it up a notch. And we've got like, I don't know, is it the summertime? Is it, is that it? Is that why everyone's like getting meaner or just getting like more, more bullshitty with the meanness? I don't know, but I'm gonna document it. And hey, Conrad, let's do it. Let me know, I'll set it up. Or maybe you can get one of your like, cool comedy friends that you're trying to just fit in with. Um, maybe they can set it up. We can do it at Love Goat. What a perfect place. Maybe, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Maybe not, you approach me. Cause if I don't wanna approach you, I don't wanna make you, I don't wanna like make you uncomfortable. And honestly, I don't wanna set myself up for you, your attack again. Um, so you approach me, let me know. I'm always open, you know, to talk in a friendly manner. Um, and I'm also open to roast the shit out of you um, in a public manner because I will and I can and I'm much funnier than you are and I know that for a fact not for a fact you can never know that for a fact but I'm pretty fucking confident about it so let's go